Okay guys, so let's talk about Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Now, of course, we now learned this week that The Last Jedi references to more than just one Jedi, which should have honestly been quite clear since there's literally two Jedi at the end of Episode 7, but now we finally got confirmation. Now, along with that, comes a ton of speculation. Now, we know for a fact that we are going to be getting our first look at Star Wars Episode 8 during Star Wars Celebration, which is of course in April. Now, they're expected to be showing a sizzle reel there, and we don't really know if that sizzle reel is going to be released online. Most likely not, but it could also, you know, be a certain cut of it that gets released. My honest anticipation is that they will probably release it right after. Now, there are reports saying that the cut that is going to be screened at Celebration is going to be just slightly different than the one that's going to make it out. And there is a description for what the teaser is going to be, which I'm going to go over right now. So if you guys don't want spoilers, I would suggest you turn away right now. So the description says that the teaser begins begins the same way that the Force Awakens trailer did, where we see heavy breathing and then Finn pops up on screen. Only this time obviously he's not on Jakku, he's actually going to be in a medical bay, waking up from a coma induced nightmare which obviously he was injured by Kylo Ren in the last movie due to the lightsaber duel. The camera is then going to transition over to Poe Dameron coming through a sliding door on a spaceship and he says they're almost here. Now this next scene goes in line with some of the rumors that have kind of been uh, around for uh, about the last two weeks I would say, in which it shows Poe and a brand new character who has yet to be named are infiltrating what is believed to be a superstar destroyer and they're dressed as first order officers and apparently they are here planting bombs on this massive spaceship. Next up, we're actually going to transition over on to see Carrie Fisher's General Leia coming in and she hints that the shadow is growing. Once she says that, it transitions over to Supreme Leader Snoke stepping out of his own shadow and it matches previous rumors that he is in fact 8 foot tall. And from the sounds of it, it's actually done with practical effects and not CG and it is an actor in a costume. And they do say that there is no Luke Skywalker in this or anywhere in this peak, although we will hear his voice near the end of the trailer and the fact that we see the blue lightsaber's light shining off of Captain Phasma. And then Luke Skywalker says, everything will die with us. And then this report goes on and says that the main teaser will not include Luke Skywalker and has far less of those quote unquote money shots. But the one that will be shown to attendees in celebration has Luke Skywalker and a few of those giant money shots, including Rey and a few other things. So honestly, a lot of this lines up with a lot of the rumors that we've heard recently. So whether this pans out or not, I guess we'll find out in April during Star Wars Celebration. You guys let me know what you think of the description of the teaser.